In the previous lectures, we discussed about a charged particle and its motion. We find that when a charged particle start to move, it produces current, and when current is passed in a conductor, then it produces a magnetic field, and that is known as a magnetic effect of current. Now, what happens if this moving charged particle is subjected to electric field? एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड जब इसको इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड या मैग्नेटिक फील्ड में रखें तो इस चार्ज पार्टिकल के साथ क्या होगा क्या इसके ऊपर मूविंग चार्ज पार्टिकल के ऊपर फोर्स लगेगी और अगर फोर्स लगेगी तो डायरेक्शन क्या होगी किस टाइप की इसकी मूवमेंट होगी और किस डायरेक्शन में ये मूव करेगा लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट मोशन ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल इन एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फॉर दैट लेट एस कंसिडर ए चार्ज पार्टिकल इज प्लेस्ड इन ए यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लेट ए पॉजिटिव चार्ज पार्टिकल Q enters in this electric field with velocity v. So, if no electric field is present, this should be the path of this charged particle. Now, let's try to find out what happens to the path of this particle. Let E is the electric field across these two plates, and if d is the distance between them, and v is the potential, then we can write that is E is equal to v upon d. Let A positive charge particle enters in this electric field with velocity v along the direction o x. During its motion, it covers a horizontal distance, say x. Let due to force of electric field, since this is a positive charge, or positive charge के ऊपर positive positive को repel करेगा और negative attract करेगा, so the direction of this charged particle will be towards negative plate, and say it covers a distance y, vertical distance that is say y. That can be represented by this point Q, and this is say a. So this is the distance, vertical distance, which the charged particle cover during its motion. If t is the time taken by the charged particle to cover this distance, then we can write this time t is equal to x upon v. Say this is equation number one. Now we know that as force on the charged particle in electric field F that is equal to Q into E, and also we know that the force is mass into acceleration. Then From these two, we find that this mass into acceleration is equal to Q into E. So from here, we can find out the value of acceleration, which is equal to Q E by m. If y is the distance in vertical direction that is covered by this charged particle, as we discussed here. Then by equation of motion, y is equal to u t plus half a t square. We can write this equation like this. That is y. That will be equal to initial velocity is zero along y axis. We know that the charge is moving along x axis only initially, but there was no velocity along y direction. So initial velocity along y direction is zero. So the first part of this equation will become zero. Now what about the second part? This is one by two. As we know that acceleration a is equal to q e by m and at the place of a t square we can write that is x upon v and whole square of this this implies that this y that will be equal to q e divided by 2 m v square into x square so this is the path of the charged particle along y direction so from here it is clear that the particle will also move along y direction and the path will be from this equation it is very clear that the path should be parabolic so initially the particle was moving only along x axis but after going through some electric field which is perpendicular to the motion of the or you can say velocity of the charged particle the charged particle will also cover some vertical distance in which its initial velocity was zero now let's try to find out what happens if the charged particle is subjected to magnetic field force on a charged particle in magnetic field 
or we can say magnetic Lorange focus. First of all, let's generate a coordinate system. Let initially a positive charge is at origin. Now when this charge particle moves in magnetic field, it experiences a force. Now what will be the force? Let's try to find out that. For that, let us consider a charge particle with magnitude Q is moving with velocity V, making an angle theta with the direction of magnetic field. If B with the magnitude of this magnetic field and acting along Z direction, let this is the X direction and this is the Y direction. Then it is found that this force F is directly proportional to magnetic field. Second one, this force F, that is the magnetic Lorentz force, is directly proportional to the magnitude of charge. And the third one, this force F, that is directly proportional to component of velocity perpendicular to magnetic field. And this is the component of velocity which is perpendicular to this magnetic field. And this component is V sin theta if you make the two components this component we know that along magnetic field is cos component and perpendicular direction it is sine component so this is v sin theta now combining all these we get this f that is proportional to q b v sin theta that is f is equal to k q v b sin theta where k is constant of proportionality in si unit value of this k is one so force f that is equal to q v b sin theta so this is the force acting on a charge particle when it is moving in magnetic field in vector form this f that is equal to q v vector cross b vector so direction the direction of this force can be find out by right hand curve if we curve the fingers from velocity to magnetic field then we find that the direction of this force is perpendicular to both x axis and z axis and that is towards the outside that is you can say y axis let's see inside the paper if we make the cross product from v to b then the direction of this force will be along y direction this can be find out with the help of right hand curve rule now let us discuss some of its special cases first one q is at rest when charge is not moving then in that case velocity is zero so force will also be zero so it will experience no force the second one when theta is equal to zero degree that is this charge is moving along the direction of magnetic field when charge moves along the direction of magnetic field then the angle between these two will be zero and in that case sine zero is there then sine zero is zero so no force will act on this charge particle so here also f will be zero now the third case when theta is equal to 90 degree that is the charge particle is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field then we know that for sine 90 the value is 1 which is the maximum value so the charge particle will experience maximum force when it is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field so the force f that is the maximum force and that will be equal to q v b from here we can define the unit of magnetic field that is b vector in si units magnetic field is measured in tesla if in the formula of a lorentz force charge is 1 and velocity is 1 meter per second and when it is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field that is theta is 90 degree then force will be 1 newton magnetic field b that will be 1 tesla so from this formula we can make magnetic field the formula for magnetic field we can drive easily like this that is this p that will be equal to f upon 
क्यू वी साइन थीटा एज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ इज सेड टू बी वन टेस्ला इफ ए चार्ज ऑफ वन कोलम मूव विद ए वेलॉसिटी ऑफ वन मीटर पर सेकेंड परपेंडिकुलर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एक्सपीरियंस इज ए फोर्स ऑफ वन न्यूटन वन टेस्ला इज इक्वल टू टेन रेज टू दावर फोर कॉस विच इज वेबर पर मीटर स्केयर दैट इज द फ्लक्स बी इक टू ए From here also we can define b that is phi by a. We will discuss in this in a later units. So this was all about today's lecture. If you find any kind of problem in this lecture or any other lecture, you can write into the comment section or you can directly send the message on Telegram where Bhotik is the group for all the physics related problems. You can subscribe the channel for future videos and also press the notification icon so that you get all kinds of notification at time. So this was all about for the day. Thank you very much.